What's up guys? One of the most popular questions we get in the tech area is how do I change the pulses per revolution from 2 to 8 or 2 to 4 or 8 to 2 or whatever it may be. Um, and what we're talking about here is when you use a race pack data logger, you usually use a split collar ring like this that goes around your drive shaft or the yoke of your, of your third member, which uh, has a couple magnets in it and it, it counts the pulses and the revolutions of your uh, drive shafts, in essence, your wheel slip, wheel slip or wheel speed. Now, uh, there's a bunch of different options that you can have when it comes to, you know, however many magnets you want to use. So, uh, we offer uh, two or eight. Some other companies out there that uh, make third members and whatnot, they make a four. I've even seen a 16. Now, the biggest question is, how do you change the pulses per revolution within the settings? Let me show you. It's really easy. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously open up your Datalink 2 program here. And then I'm going to go up to File in the upper left corner, and I'm going to go ahead and open the car configuration. I'm going to select the correct configuration. In this case, I'm using a Sportsman. I'm going to click the generic Sportsman config. Click OK. And when I do that, all the channels that come pre-programmed into your Sportsman data logger or your V300 or your drag dash, whatever it is, will pop up here in these little boxes. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to locate the DS RPM, which stands for drive shaft RPM. We're going to right click on that. And when you right click on that, it's going to bring up your input channel parameters for this channel. Uh, what it's named, how many pulses, the raw data values, stuff like that. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to locate channel options down here in the bottom left. And we're going to navigate down to pulses per revolution. And we're going to click on it. And when you click on it, it's going to highlight it in blue. And then see how it says two here? This is factory set up for two pulses per revolution. And basically, however many magnets you have within your within your split collar ring that you're using uh, is however many pulses you want to put into your programming. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this to an eight magnet. So I'm going to make sure it's highlighted in blue here. And then I'm going to go just to the right here. It's going to say pulses per revolution again and allow me to type in here. So I'm going to erase the two and I'm going to put an eight. And with the power turned on and the serial cable hooked up to my data logger, and to the laptop, I'm going to go ahead and click send configuration. And as I do that, it sends all over the information that says device was programmed successfully. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to click OK to get out of this box. And then I'm just going to go over here and click the save button just so that way we've been able to save everything we've done. And essentially that's it. All you got to do is just change the pulses per revolution to whatever magnet amount you have in your split collar and you're off to the races. For more information on any sort of race pack tech tips or information on our products, be sure to log on to racepack.com or give us a call toll free at 888-429-4709.